We're here with Nigeria, Stephen Mozia, who came third in the men's shot put. Congrats, Stephen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, Stephen, you won Nigeria's first medal, you know, at the CAA Championships. How does that make you feel? Oh, well, it makes me very happy to, uh, you know, see our flag up for the first time. I hope that our flag goes up a lot more, and I think that it will. So. So you're competing in this course tomorrow. You won a bronze medal two years ago. What's the target for this year? I mean, of course, gold. I mean, I would, I would like to get the gold in everything that I do. So, yeah, uh, that it's not going to be easy, but I think I can do it. So, can you just fill us in as to your preparation? You know, the build up to these championships. How was it like for you? Oh well, I mean, it was uh, kind of difficult work and uh, track. That relationship kind of got tested a lot in the last re, uh, last couple of months, but besides that, I would say that you know it was very well. I mean, I've never been throwing better in my life. Sadly, it didn't truly show out today, but you know, it's, it, hopefully Rio will be good for me. Hopefully Rio will be real good for me. So, is there anything you're planning to do differently ahead of um, Rio? Oh uh, well, I mean, I kind of shut down most of my travel for next month and uh, from work-wise and. I'm going to taper back from working a little bit, but um, yeah, mainly just doing the same things. I'm on the right path, and you know, except for you know, ha having to learn how to compete, which is just a growing thing. I'll just kind of keep working and trying to get better day by day, as I, as I have been. So, okay, like this year, you've um, broken the national record about twice or thrice. You know, what has been different for you this year, and would you say that you have evolved, you know, as an athlete? Yeah, I would say I have. Uh, I graduated from college last year, so that was a huge thing, and also kind of got a job I love, so I kind of had everything going for me well, and it's gotten to a point in my life where I've kind of cut out everything except work and track in my life, and I'm just focused on being successful in both of these things. So uh, I think it's a mindset change as well as I'm just kind of have a stable job and a stable career, so track is just more of something I enjoy to do and I want to be good at. So it's, it, it's kind of taken out a lot of pressure as well, so, yeah. Thank you. So um, can you fill us in on your job? What do you do? I'm a marketing engineer for Emerson Electric. Um, so it's uh, do a whole bunch of things from doing uh, competitive material, coding websites for our company, just do a lot of things on the sales side of like the equipment that we sell. So. Uh, yeah, it's been an interesting ride so far, and I kind of, I really love my job, honestly. <laughs> so, okay, so um, there is this Zika virus scare. I mean, are you discouraged about that? Does that scare you ahead of the Rio Olympics? Like, um, I mean, I'm scared. I don't want to go for the Olympics. Oh uh, no, not really. I mean, uh, I mean, I, I, I'll trust that Brazil will do enough to keep it away from the athletes, and um, truthfully, like. Uh, you know, there's dangerous things everywhere. I mean, I was talking to my parents about it. Like, I could die getting hit by a rock miles away and anywhere I am. So, I mean, like, it's just, you know, at a certain point, you have to kind of leave it up to God. And if God wants me to be there, which it seems like everything has pushed me that he wants me to go there, then I'm, I'm going to go and do the best I possibly can. So let's talk about your family. What kind of support have you received from them? And how do they feel about you going to Rio to compete? Are they planning to be in Rio to watch you compete? Uh, sadly, every one of my siblings are um, in the age of like having children, and that's kind of the scariest thing about Zika right now. So, uh, I mean, they wanted to come and everything, and I was saying like no, because I rather just have healthy nieces and nephews that I can play with at home. So, I just kind of told them to uh, relax on that front. And I mean, but I mean, they love it. They they support me in so many ways that they don't even understand, and just they constant like add, like like love and like. I mean, really, my siblings are a lot of people who raised me, and I mean, my, without my parents, I would not have anything that I have right now, so it just, you know, without them, I can't even imagine myself being at, in these opportunities, so. Thank you very much, and all the best tomorrow. Thank you, you too.